All right, so welcome to my video on dividing numbers using long division. Here we have 1,032 divided by 4. Uh, this is in long division format already. Notice how the 1,032 is on the inside and the 4 is on the outside. Uh, but sometimes they don't give you the problem in long division format right away. Uh, sometimes they could give it to you as a fraction. Um, so notice how the top number of the fraction, or the numerator, the 1032, always goes on the inside of long division, and the bottom number of the fraction, uh, the 4, goes on the outside of the long division. Okay? And sometimes they might give you the problem like this, 1032 with the division symbol divided by 4. Uh, notice how the first number, the 1032, goes on the inside of the long division, and the second number uh, goes on the outside of the long division. So that's my brief introduction uh, just to give you an idea of changing um, the division problems into long division format. Um, so let's just get started right away with this example. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do in long division is we want to look at this first number, this number 1 right here. We want to figure out how many times does 4 go into 1? And 4 is actually bigger than 1, so 4 goes into 1 0 times. Uh, whenever the number on the outside is bigger than the first number, then we need to look at the first two numbers. Alright, so now let's look at this number 10. How many times does 4 go into 10 without being too big? All right, 4 goes into 10 two times, because 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Once again, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. All right, so let me erase this line that I drew under the 10. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to subtract 8 from the number 10. So 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. So moving on to our next step, the next thing you want to do is bring down the next number. The next number is 3, so we want to bring that number 3 down. And after we place our 3, we want to figure out how many times does 4 go into the number 23 without being too big. Uh, 4 goes into the number 23 five times. If we picked the number 6, it would be too big. Um, so we have to pick the number 5. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So once again, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Now we have to do the same thing as before. We need to subtract the numbers. 23 minus 20 is equal to 3. And once again, we need to bring down the next number. So we need to bring down our 2. And after we place our number 2, we need to figure out how many times does 4 go into the number 32. 4 goes into 32 exactly 8 times. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. Once again, we need to subtract our numbers. 32 minus 32 is equal to 0. All right, so now I want you to notice that after we brought down our last number, we brought down our last number 2, we got a remainder of 0. So after you bring your down your last number, if your remainder is 0, that means you're finished with the problem. So our final answer is 258. 1,032 divided by 4 is 258. And in my next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain what we need to do if our remainder was not 0, because that happens quite often. I'm going to explain what we need to do if our remainder is not 0. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like my, my videos and you want to see some more, please subscribe to my channel. And until my next video, I will see you later.